you what, Nick, I was watching um, Country Files on Sunday night and they had a school on there and they were showing about how the children have got their own farm. In fact, they've got water buffalo. And then, lo and behold, two days later, here we are in Galston, thought to be the first school in the Great Yarmouth area that's going to have animals. And in fact, if I introduce the children, we've got uh, Logan and I've forgotten your name. Declan. Declan. Danny. Danny. Rhiannon. Summer. And all part of the school council. You've already got some of the animals in one of the classrooms, haven't you? Yes, in year three. What have you got? We've got little chicks. All in the classroom? Yeah. And so they sit at the back and cheep, cheep, cheep while you're learning your lessons? No, at the front of the classroom. Are they? <laughs> are, they taking yeah. any, are they taking any notice I of the know, teacher? I know, they're in my classroom. Are they taking any notice of the teacher? Uh, I don't really know. But we're standing in a field which is next to the school at the moment and this is the idea of Tony Bellinger, who's one of the teachers here at Peterhouse Primary Academy. You've got one of the sheds, you've got a bit of fencing but there's a couple of gaps here and there. You need it all filled in and ready for the animals otherwise they'll be all over the school. Yeah, we're getting there. It's been a long process. Uh, we've had lots of help from local companies and businesses obviously. Um, but we are looking for a few more bits. So we're looking for a bit more fencing, we're looking for a pigsty and a shed to store some of our tools and equipment in. Um, so if anybody's got anything out of there, that'd be brilliant. Martin Scott is the head teacher of the uh, academy. It's one of those things, is it, uh, how practical is it to have animals in a school and what benefit is it bringing to the children? It's been a little bit of a, a logistical issue trying to make sure we've got staff to cover holidays and weekends but staff have been really very helpful. Uh, so have parents and parents have come forward to volunteer their support uh, in looking after the animals. It's a bit of a world away isn't it from when I was at school someone had to nominate themselves to look after the school guinea pig or school gerbil or whatever and you weren't ever quite sure if it was going to come back alive or dead in September. <laughs> no we've, we've, we've had that, we've had the animals in the classrooms but um, we felt we'd like to develop that idea and concept further and some of our children here in school have never been out into the countryside seeing animals such as the pigs and the goats that we're going to have here so we felt that it would add to their overall broader educational experiences and so pigs goats eggs from the hens no doubt are you going to eat the eggs no you're not going to eat the eggs uh, maybe and how about bacon and ham from the pigs no we're not going to be eating the animals will you be milking the goats having goat's milk? No. But you'll learn about them, won't you? You'll have to feed them and look after them. Yes. yes. And you'll enjoy doing that? Yeah. How about the other students as well? Will they all get involved? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you think so? You, were, you promised me you weren't going to go massy on me, didn't you? You are going to be a little bit quiet. But it's one of those things where they will learn. You have a few regulations, no doubt, to keep up with. But it's going to, I suppose, help them understand the food chain, animal welfare, all sorts of things beyond the classroom. Yeah, it is, but it's also about making them excited about their learning, excited to come to school, you know, it's, it's bringing it real out of that classroom, giving that bit of extra to, to their school, make it memorable for them, you know, hopefully when they're grown up, they think, oh yeah, do you remember those goats we had at school, the pigs, that kind of stuff, some might even want to come to vets, you know, follow that sort of line, so it's sort of giving them an extra chance, adding that extra bit to their learning, to their excitement. Well, hopefully when the fencing gets completed, you'll have the animals on site, and uh, we'll come back and see you when they all move in. Excellent. Thanks.